Hello everybody, I just want to say a big thank you for helping me reach 100 subscribers the other day. And because of that, I'm making this video. Now this video is just a talk about how far we've gotten in the past two and a half years. So let's just go over the history of this channel pretty much. Because of you guys, I'm going to be doing this. Now, first of all, around March 2017 was the time I created the account. And I think there were some videos that I've uploaded during that period. But they were all removed because I didn't like them very well in quality. They didn't meet my standards at all. Like, literally, I rec what I did during that era of the channel, also known as the first era, which I keep talking about, is that's not on the channel, because it's not, is what I would do is I would record my um, television screen with my phone of me playing Xbox games. I played games like Terraria, which is right now on the channel now. I played Gears of War, and... I don't remember much else. I was planning on developing a schedule for that, but then I just lost interest in YouTube for a short pe for a um, moderate period of time. So I stopped uploading for a while. I eventually deleted the uploads because they sucked. Yeah, and that would mark the end of the first era. The second era, also known as the start of the real channel also known as version 2.0.0, even though versions didn't exist all the way back then, but you can just picture what version it would be anyways. In the second era of the YouTube channel, I used my um, Viking Pro Android tablet to make my videos. The thing is, with that tablet, it is not always the best thing to um, upload with, because... Whenever I record, it is extremely laggy. That's why I didn't upload a lot during that era at all. Because all my entire... Because it would just lag, and it wouldn't stop lagging. And back then, I had a lot of sound issues, especially in the first couple of videos. In the second video I ever uploaded, there was one... That was the only video where there were color issues, where all the colors were inverted for some strange reason. Don't ask how, it just was. I fixed that later in the third video. Because if you remember my guest avatar with the blue hair, yeah. It was red in that video for some strange reason. Or something like that. And then we're going to talk about the, how that era ended. The, how it ended was, well, I again lost interest because of how laggy it was. It was so annoying just to record a single video. So yeah, that's that. Now let's go over the third era, also known as the first PS4 era. During this era... You probably have noticed a lot of good things happening in that. I uploaded more frequently, but not too frequently at all to be considered often. But I would upload videos like, um... I had a schedule... That's actually the first era I had a official schedule on. Like on, um... What was this schedule? I don't even think about it. Because I know I made a schedule for the PS4. On Mondays, I did Minecraft. No, I, Minecraft's been around ever since the second era of my channel, actually. So that's probably not going away for any time soon. Tuesdays, I did Trove. I wish they have Trove on mobile, because they, but they don't, so I can't do anything with it. And number two, their services 
when it comes to re-logging in, kind of suck because I tried to log into my old account and I couldn't. So I pretty much lost my um, 10,000 skin, my um, 10,000 power knight, which is not good at all. And then on Wednesdays, I did um, Monster Hunter World. That series was dead. So, yeah, there's even one video in the bottom 10 out of all my YouTube videos. And you know how many videos there are on my channel right now? At least 300. So if there, if it places that bad, then it's not really a good series. Thursdays, I did Injustice 2. It got a slightly lowish amount of views. But it's not too bad. I forgot what I did on Friday. Oh, wait. I do remember what I do on Fridays. On Fridays, I do, um, I think, Fortnite. Yeah. And I also would do a trailer every week, but I stopped doing that. Because that's just ridiculous. Well, actually, it was like that for the entire era, actually. So trailers 1 through 9 are from the third era of the channel. So that's in case if you haven't noticed why certain intros, certain um, trailers look different than others. That's because those three, those nine are part of the first era. And anyways, and then on Saturdays and Sundays were live stream days. I used to live stream super often, but I don't do that anymore because I don't always feel like live streaming for like five out for too long. But my live streams varied on length some were like one hour two hours some of them even went up to four and one of them even went up to seven on a playstation but of course the seven hour stream used to be the longest stream on my channel that has been fairly beaten by the one of the, my most recent videos that came i think in may or whenever I reached 50 subscribers. And then... And then after that... When Era 3 ended... Now let's talk about how it ended. Era 3 ended... On August... No, on... No, July 31st. Because my PlayStation fan stopped working, which means if the fan stops working, the PlayStation's unable to cool itself. And if it's unable to cool itself, it will just overheat. And if it overheats, it cuts off the screen every time. So it's pretty much broken. So yeah, that's the unfortunate news about that. Now let's go over one of my most favorite eras era four started in late G december in yeah at that point i had lost a bunch of subs because i was not making videos for a while that was my fault and then well speaking of losing subscribers i'm kind of confused why i lost two subscribers um in the past two days, because I'm now down to 100 again, which is not good. Well, at least I'm in, I have 100. That's why this video exists altogether. And then after that, anyways, back to history. January. January 2020. Now, this era was not quite efficient because I would not up upload often a lot. I don't know how many videos are recorded in January, but I did manage to record the most popular video of all of them in that month. Super Roblox Kart number one. The very first one is the most popular one.
everybody liked it. Like, in a thousand people viewed that video. Which I am very happy for. So yeah, that's pretty much January. Now let's talk about February 2020. Also known as Chapter 2020 Season 2. Now in this period, well... This was the month where I introduced trailers into the fourth era. Which were, I think... How many trailers did I do? There was four trailers inside that period of time. Which was the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th trailers, I believe. I don't know. I'm probably right. I'm just being dumb. But, yeah, that's pretty much Era Force trailers. Then in March. In March, we began drafting for the second YouTube tournament I was hosting. And, honestly, I don't know if it was a good tournament it was pretty good at the end at the beginning everyone sucked sorry about that i accidentally dropped my cellular device anyways back to topic anyways i was saying that tournament two could have used some changes and now let's go back to april in April, Tournament 2 started. Yeah, at that point, we had 20 competitors, including the ones that sucked. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm sorry to say this. No, I'm not trying to be as um, arrogant or anything, but... Yeah, that just, some of them, well, only two of them were not so good. Only two of them were really, really bad. Well, and so far in this tournament, well, it's worse than the last season, so. Yeah. Then we go to uh, May 2020. I forgot what I did in that month. Oh, yeah, I introduced the COVID-19 free celebration which you know what that is it lists all the countries that have zero active cases of covid-19 i do that every month still and then and then in um also in addition to that i also decided to um begin um telling people of what's going to come in the entire month and yeah that's pretty much that and i think it was it, i think it was also the first month i began live streaming for the fourth era I forgot what video what was the first one. It was most likely Genometry Dash, I think, because... I don't know. But when I live-streamed that game... Yeah, it was definitely May. I, when I live-streamed that, I gained a lot of subs. Out of nowhere. So that's why Genometry Dash is still on the channel today. And then, in June, on June 1st marked the end of the fourth era because my iOS device was not connecting properly. Luckily, that lasted only a day. So, I was going to plan on uploading videos with our new PS4, which they call this one a PS4 Pro. Well, actually, I like to call it a PS4 Noob because it doesn't even upload things very correctly and it can barely even connect to the internet meaning 
meaning pretty much trying to play Fortnite is impossible. Also, trying to play Trove is also impossible, along with online Brawlhalla. It was a nightmare, and I had enough, so I ent ended that era in a matter of two days. Now, we were going to play some pretty cool games, including um, Call of Duty Warzone. But that got cancelled because of the fact that it's impossible to connect to the internet. So now let's talk about the rest of the month. In June, I was also supposed to introduce Cups to the channel, but I discontinued it because it got annoying. And then, that's pretty much the recap of Season 6, also known as June. Now let's talk about July 2020, also known as the last season, Season 7. Now, at this month, I decided, I think in that month, Tournament 3 started. So Tournament 3 did start on there, and there were a couple changes to tournaments on that day. In Tournament 3, the only thing I added was the fact that viewers can vote. Unfortunately, nobody's taken advantage of that in the past two rounds, and it's about to become three, actually. Which makes me mad. Let me see, what's today's date? If it's the 17th, okay, it's the 16th. Speaking of which, I recommend you guys check out the latest tournament video and vote because today's the last day you can do so. And then round three will end and I'll have to kill three more people. Not literally, I'm just, I mean eliminating out of the entire um, tournament. And speaking of tournaments, I'm already planning major changes to tournaments. After tournament three, there will only be one website drafting players. And there will be... I believe there's going to be... As of next season, I'm planning on having... 17 groups. 16 of them will be groups of two. And the other one will be a group of eight. Now, these will all be labeled as a different category, and there's still going to be only one winner, just to let you know that. And now, also to let you know, it's time to bring out this month, Season 8. August 2020. This month, well, we had some good things so far as we gained a lot of subscribers. And with an addition, I'm also creating the Ultra YouTuber League, which is a league where YouTubers battle it out, but I'm also going to make, but the reason I just del recently deleted all the videos off the channel is because multiple websites have stopped working and are no longer active, including Incognitube, which we all know was a good site for Tournament 2. So that's why I switched this one website for Tournament th 4 and above, in case if you're reasoning that's why. And plus, it's for the good anyways. Because YT Roulette only picks the popular videos and, and some of the other topics only pick music. I don't want that. Because that's not an appropriate way to pick people. And then f after that... So then we're going to go over what's going to be happening in the future. In the past, in the next four months. In, in September, also known as Chapter 2020 Season 9, we are, I am planning on having the um, 
10 more 10 hour live streams but this time it's for the 100 subscribers special as we all know because of you guys it's happening that month so it's two months of straight 10 hour footages so out of that entire two month live spam there should be at least um 140 hours of live streams that's a lot like literally it's a lot now and then and then we're going to move on to the next month october aka chapter 2020 season 10 in this month tournament 4 will start and tournament 3 will be done now as of right now we're not close to done tournament 3 but in that month but october is not even that far away it's only two months away so you gotta really think about what's gonna happen soon. Well, also another disclosure, it ends at the end of October. Not the beginning, not the middle, the end of it. So even if it hits October, you still got plenty of time before Tournament 4 begins. Because I bet you it's gonna be like round 8 by the time October hits. And then, Chapter 2020, Season 11. Um, right now, I have no plans in there yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in there. But I am going to be making regular videos along with a couple live streams, like the usual five hours. And same with Chapter 2020, Season 12, a.k.a. December. And also the last one of the entire chapter. Which, if you don't know what a chapter is, pretty much a chapter is a whole year. That's why it's kind of obvious. It's chapter 2020, also known as year 2020. Also known as one of my least favorite years I've ever had in my life. Actually, in fact, it is my least favorite year. Because it sucks. Because it's been bad since freaking January, where Australia caught on fire... Kobe Bryant died and so many other stupid stuff and then in March the pandemic got a pandemic was formed out of a virus nobody really cared about until boom pandemic and everything closes and now we live in a new type of normal and yeah and speaking of which if you guys are one of the lucky guys like me you're going to be home during school the first semester of school if you're unlucky you're going to school at risk so here's what i'm gonna say thanks wicomico county schools in maryland for being actually good civil civilized people usually it would, yeah when i say wicomico county i literally mean it was depending on wicomico county not maryland maryland decided to let the counties decide on if they would open our schools. Wicomico said no. So we... Well, how that happened was... People... Parents would vote... On certain things. And it was pretty crazy. Because you would have three choices. There would be red... Code red, which means everyone stays at home for the entire semester which was the way we went for because well it's the safest route we're not trying to kill people now then there's code yellow which means it's a week switcheroo which means we go to school for one week and then we don't honestly that would get annoying really fast and i wouldn't like it and then code green means everyone goes to school every day and that would be the worst because it would be almost normal. The reason why I say almost is because they would still require you to wear masks and social distance, but that's pretty much obvious because they can't break the law, can they? And then after that pretty much happened,
So, yeah, and that's pretty much that. And I bet you the schools that are opened are doing that. Like, it's not, no, not just bet, confirmed. It's confirmed that they're doing that. Why wouldn't they be doing that? Like, literally. If they weren't social distancing, then that's not okay. <laughs> Some people are luckier than others, though. Like, one school got a COVID case on the first day of school. Holy crap. This is... And I'm, my schools aren't even op- aren't even in the school year yet. Ours starts in September. Unlike some people who begin in freaking August. Which is ridiculous. And yeah, that's pretty much that. And that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. So if you enjoyed this wonderful talk with Hugh Joan One, please subscribe. And like this video a lot if you want to see more of this type of content. Because I think this is the first time I've ever talked like this. Like an actual podcast. So if you liked it, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon for the next gaming video.